welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Matthew 12, verse 25. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. This is a truth that the Lord Jesus Christ wants us to understand today. That a city, a country, a family, or even a church that is divided will not stand. See, there is strength in unity. That's why we are always commanded, friends, to unite ourselves together, to work together, to contend as one, not divided. Because once we are divided, friends, we cannot stand Especially, friends, if we bite each other. That's the reason why even the Apostle Paul warned, friends, that if we keep biting one another, what's out? Or else, you will be destroyed. You will devour one another. And who is the winner? Friends, the devil. Because the devil will be watching on the side and cheering us if we are fighting each other. But there is one that will be grieving, and that is the Lord. The Holy Spirit will be grieving because God wants us to be united. And therefore, friends, let's walk in unity. Let us not divide ourselves. Amen. We are told very clearly by Jesus himself that no kingdom, no city, no family will stand if they are divided. And so, friends, let us uh, work towards unity. Let's use our energy to unite ourselves. Let's not use our energy to fight each other, destroy each other. No, who will benefit? As I said, friends, nobody benefits. That's why he said that you will be destroyed. But if only, friends, we can unite, then there is much joy in the kingdom of heaven. That's why even David was saying that, you know, oh, how good and how pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. See, when we can just live together in unity. But what divides us? What is dividing us? Sometimes, friends, it's pride. Our pride divides us. We thought that we are better than others. And therefore, we lift ourselves up and try to push others down. But, friends, now, let us continue to walk together. If we think that we are strong, and we are better than others, then let's help the weak. Let's help them. Let's lift them up so that they can come to our level and then we can walk together and work together and serve the Lord together rather than try to push them down. Now let's, let's do the work, friends, of uh, uniting ourselves. Let us uh, continue to contend as one and fight a common enemy, and that is the devil. And let's not use our energy to fight each other. We have a common goal, and our goal is entering heaven. And therefore, friends, let's work towards it. Let us unite. Encourage one another. See, there is this pressure from the wicked one for us to be derailed. He wants to stop us, friends, in this journey to heaven. And so he will come. And so if we are divided, how can we win the battle? When one side is on his side. <laughs> See? How can we win the battle? No. But if we are walking together, then we will achieve the goal of our faith, the salvation of our soul. Now, don't look for perfection. At times, friends, we are divided because we are looking for perfection. Well, there is no perfect father. There is no perfect mother, there is no perfect son, perfect daughter, perfect friend, perfect pastor, perfect leader. No such thing, friends. We have all our imperfection. But if only we concentrate in praying for those imperfections that God may perfect us, then we can be better together. Amen. But let's not focus on those imperfections and try to destroy each other because of those imperfections. And then divide ourselves. Friends, let us serve the Lord together. Amen. Appreciate what we have. If you have imperfect husband, appreciate your husband. He is still your husband. 
in perfect one, he is still your wife. You are still a family. See, pain in the family is pain for everybody. And so with the church, see, I'm not perfect. I got a lot of imperfection. But through your prayers, through your encouragement, we can still work together and prevail. Amen. Let us not be the victim, friends. No, let us not be the victim. Let us be the victor. We shall win the battle together. Amen. So, friends, my encouragement is that let's walk together. Hallelujah. And serve the Lord together faithfully. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace. His alone. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.